Okay. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve uh, one of the IB uh, past paper uh, questions. Um, uh, it came in 2020, uh, May 2020, paper two. So here, here we have uh, a company delivers uh, packages to uh, customers using a small unmanned aircraft rotating horizontal uh, plates exert a force on the surrounding air. The air above the aircraft is initially stationary. So here we have aircraft and it's holding a package. Here we have the string and the package. The mass of the aircraft here, the mass of the aircraft is 0.95 kilogram. The combined mass of the package and the string, so here the mass of the package, here's down, and the string is 0.45 kilogram. The mass of the air pushed downwards by the plates is 1.7, so here this is the mass of the air is 1.7 kilogram. So the forces here, I have mass of the package downward plus the mass of the aircraft package downward plus aircraft, all of them times G. And we, here we have tension, tension on the rope. So downward force, I have aircraft and I have the package. Their weight is downward. Tension is upward. And here we have air, air that push, uh, push the aircraft and the package upward. Now, what are the value of this resultant force on the aircraft? Since it's not much moving, the aircraft is motion. Here, if you read the question, is motionless. The aircraft hovers motionless above the ground. So from Newton's first law, summation of forces acting the aircraft will equal zero because the aircraft is in equilibrium. Because the aircraft is in equilibrium. This is Newton first law. OK, outlined by reference to a Newton third law, how the upward lift force on the aircraft achieved. OK, Newton third law for every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. So here we have the plates push the air downward by a force. And the air push back towards on the plates on e uh, um, uh, an equal and opposite upward force. So for every action, there is opposite and equal reaction. The plates will push the air downward by a force and the air will push back on the plates with an equal and opposite force. OK, now see. See here, he wants me to determine the velocity of air. OK. Um, round the number to appropriate significant figure. Now I'm going to use the second law, Newton's second law of momentum. From Newton's second law, force will equal change in momentum divided by change in time. So if I do cross multiplication, I will have F times its time, time is one second, will equal change in momentum. Change in momentum, M, V final, minus M, V initial. So the force, okay, uh, of air on the plate, so this is F, will equal what? What is the value of uh, this force? The force F 
this force I'm going to use mass times free fall acceleration. Now I have two masses. I have aircraft and I have the mass of the package downward. So M for the aircraft plus mass of the package time G will equal mass of the air time the velocity of the air. And here this one is zero. Initial velocity is zero because it was motionless at the beginning. The aircraft was motionless. Now substitute mass of the aircraft. We have 0 0.95 plus mass of the package 0.45 times free fall acceleration 9.81 will equal mass of the air 1.7 times the velocity of the air. Divide both sides by 1.7, you will get V of the air will equal 8.1 meter per second. V, calculate the power transferred to the air by the aircraft. The definition of the power is energy over time. Now the type of energy here is kinetic energy. So kinetic energy of air, the mass of the air times the velocity divided by time one second. So half mass of the air is 1.7. The velocity we've just calculated is 8.1 squared divided by one. And this will give us 56 watt. I can use the other formula here. This is alternative method. I'm going to use the, the average power, the average power, which equal force times the velocity. And the, fo the force will be uh, mass times free fall acceleration times the average velocity. So mass here for the aircraft was 0.95 plus mass of the package, point 45 times 9.81 velocity of the air is 8.1 square and then we're taking the average velocity divided by 2 and we should get the same answer 56 watt. Now here the package and the string now released and fall to the ground. The lift force on the aircraft remains unchanged. OK, now how can we calculate the lift force, the upward force? Which is the force of air uh, that push both the aircraft and the package. So this upward force should equal mass of both air craft and the package mass of the package times uh, free fall acceleration and here i have downward force which is the weight of aircraft the weight of air craft the weight of aircraft in mass of the, of the aircraft which is 0.95 times 9.81 here i should get 13.7 newton and here i should get 9.3 in newton so from newton second law force equals mass times acceleration i need to find the acceleration so the acceleration will be this net force divided by M. This is the net force acting on the aircraft, and this will equal 13.7 minus 9.3 divided by the mass of the aircraft, which is 0.95, and it will give us 4.6 meter per second square. Okay, that's it, folks. See you on the second video, inshallah.